I need to find a group to do Scarlet Monastery with. Is there anybody that's selling carries? I need to get up to level fucking 40. I did level a little bit off stream, and so now I'm 34. But we're gonna be able to get to- I, I think I'll be able to get to 40 today. You can heal if you want. I mean, ideally, I'd like to just get carried. But if I have to actually play the game, I- I- you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. You could easily get 40 tonight. You made it to 34. Yeah, it wasn't really that hard. We do Nomergon at least once? Yes, I'm gonna do Nomergon tomorrow. That's what my plan is. I was gonna do it today, but I just couldn't do it. Get the sleeping bag quest. I will do that, but I wanna do this first. Since I'm already here. Yeah, this guy's only level 36. I could beat the shit out of him. This is gonna be easy. I'm gonna get level 40 today. Like, I, I wanna get, like, maybe, maybe I got like 39 or something like that. But, like, I wanna get leveled up and. Make sure that I'm ready 100% for the new phase. You want any helmets broken? Yeah, well, you can't win them all, right? I'm gonna get a new helmet from this boss, so it doesn't matter. You gonna tank or DPS? I'm just gonna DPS. I don't want to tank. Like, I've always liked playing DPS Warrior the most, and so I'm just gonna play that. I did tank in Classic a lot. Dual spec is now? Oh, it's in the game. Wait, dual spec is in the game right now? Holy shit. Okay, um, well, that's interesting. I wonder which one of these I should go with. I guess if I'm gonna go with, a if I'm gonna get, like, 100% I'm gonna get Ravager, right? So, I should just put the points into Axe Specialization? We're gonna do it. I did it. It's done. Even though I, I have a, what do I have? I have a sword right now. I always thought sword spec was way cooler. Like, mace spec was stupid, axe spec was, like, just big crits, but sword spec was the coolest one. What's up? I lost my 50-50 on Acheron. I'm about to uninstall that shit. Probably should. I mean, let's be honest, bro. Like, that's a, it's a gotcha game. What are you doing playing a gotcha game, wasting your fucking money on some bullshit anime girl? She's not even real. Log back into Season of Discovery and be a real man and play World of Warcraft. Stop being such a bitch. Who the fuck is Acheron? Uh, she's an anime girl in a video game. And I will come back and play, uh, I'll, I'll play Star, the Star Rail story, but I wanted to do this first. I I'm gonna get up to 50. I'm not gonna try to, like, really super rush getting 50. I think I'm probably gonna get it over the course of, like, three days. And then after those three days are over, you know, I'll probably be 50 by then, and uh, I'll be good to go. Is your Raiden Bastion of Twilight? It's a hard tier. Did I raid in Bastion of Twilight? That was tier 11? Yeah, I did. I raided a lot back then, actually. Like, I was a god back then. Holy, I was so good. I'm trying to remember, like, a cap? Bro, this is no cap. I, I was literally, like... Actually, wait a second. I, I can pull it up. Like, I killed Sinestra. Like, we cleared the whole tier. That was it. What's up, Hale? Yeah, how you doing? Parse is proven? Yeah, yeah. And how good are you now? Oh, I'm not that good now. I just play the game for fun, man. Yeah, I just play the game for fun. I, I take it, you know, not all that seriously, and uh, everything's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm chilled out. That might sound crazy, but yeah, it's just like I'm, I'm having fun, enjoying myself, and everything is great. The reason why I stopped wanting to raid is because I didn't feel like the, the the level of investment that raiding required was just so high that I felt like it wasn't worth it for what I was getting out of it. And if I could have gone back and like raided again, like I, I don't think that I would ever go back and raid again. But one thing that would make me as close to possible was raiding. Smallville Vale. No, he's getting a summon. He typed in, in our party chat. Schedules to raid. Yeah, it's like, I just don't want to do schedules to raid. Straight up. Like, that's what really... Did you take it very serious in Cataclysm? Oh, yeah. I was really serious in Cata. I played Cata probably more than any other expansion. Because that was whenever I first was in college, and I was in community college, so I didn't do anything. And, uh... You know, I only had a job sometimes. Other than that, I was just fucking around. Yeah, high school was over. Yeah, like, I, I went hard as fuck. Sad when a game isn't fun, it's just another form of work. Yeah, but, like, the thing is that... Even though it's another form of work, it can still be fun if you're having fun working. 
Like, I had fun playing the game a lot for many years, but again, the reason why I stopped playing it was just because I didn't feel like my time was being rewarded. I didn't feel like I was spending my time in the game in a way that was, uh, you know, efficient or good. I just felt stupid, to be honest. Didn't do anything in college at a 4.0? Well, yeah, I mean, like, it's not hard to get good grades in school. You just do the thing that they tell you what to do and then you do the thing that they tell you to do. I mean, fuck. <laughs> like, what is this? Now, obviously, there's like... I, I had classes that were hard, right? But... You know, along with any other uh, class... Let's see here. Okay, yeah. I don't know what I should do for like... I feel like my damage is just gonna su is just gonna suck. Like I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to like do good damage until like I get Ravager. Cause like I don't really have like anything any cleave or anything like that. Just let him boost. Yeah, I guess so. Ah, it is what it is. Should have repaired items. Yeah, ninety percent of school is just memorizing shit. You'll forget two months later. Yeah, I remember like in business school that was like the. Business school was like a huge waste of time. Uh, I, I learned more from business and WoW than I did from business school. Because like, I remember we were, we were learning about, like it was like definitions and like vocabulary about like different things in, um, what do you call it? Like different types of stores and like how big a store was. And like, I was thinking to myself, they just invented these words in order to get people to buy the, in order to buy textbooks. I was thinking like, you know, there's actually like no real reason for any of these things to exist. They just got invented. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit more. It's pretty loud. That's better. This goes in mechanical engineering, but it's kind of hard sometimes. Oh yeah, I mean, I remember <laughs> I, I was in this class, it was like a, um, it was like a combination class of, like, programming and, uh, like, systems analysis. And it was actually, like, my last semester, uh, before I, before I quit to play World of Warcraft. Uh, you know, professionally, uh, you know, video game player on the YouTube. And, uh, it was my last, it was my last semester in, in college. And... I remember, like, we had this professor, and he was, he was from, like, one of these, like, Eastern European countries, right? Like, uh, I, I, I don't remember which one, but he was from one of those countries, and he acted like one of the guys that is from those countries. And so he would always, like, be sarcastic, he was a super big hard ass, and it was, like, all the stereotypes, absolutely. And so, I remember one time, like, we were at the final, and we were, uh... Like, we got the test, and the test was like a seven-page test. And people were just, like, freaking out, because he even gave it out before class even started, because he knew that it was going to be, like, really hard. It's like, I swear I could almost see him smiling, giving out this test, because he knew he was going to, like, ruin somebody's chances of graduating. And, uh... And it was, like, seven pages, and, like, you know, usually we would go over one problem in, like, one day. But he was telling people, he was like, listen, you know, if you want to have a job and you want to be good at your job, it's not about just if you can do it right. Anybody can do it right. It's about how fast you can do it and how quickly you can find a solution to it. Because, like, you know, nobody has all day to wait for you to figure out how to do something. So it's like, you know, your efficiency also displays your competency, right? Because, like, how quickly can you solve a problem? He's not wrong. No, he's not. Um, and, and the thing is, like, it was obvious. And so, like, one girl, I remember she goes and she asks him this. Because this was, like, um, this wasn't a big class. It was, um, like, I'm trying to think of how many people were in this class. Maybe, like, 30 or 40 people. So it wasn't a big auditorium class at all. And there was one girl, and she goes, can we just do, like, it, do we have to do the whole test? Or do we just have to do, like, five out of like the 20 questions or like, you know, two out of the seven. I forgot what really what it was. I think it was like seven really big questions. And he goes, you can do partial work if you want partial credit. And then he walks out of the room. And we didn't even see him for like 20 minutes. And like he knew like, cause it, everybody had like their own version of the test. So like you couldn't really cheat in the same way. 
And like people are talking to you, like, this is so unfair. How can anybody do this? And it's like, well, maybe they can do it if you stop talking and complaining and start working. And I remember, um, like, I think I was like one of the only people that even finished it. Like most people didn't finish the test. But like for me, I was always a speedrunner with taking tests. Like I would be the kind of person that would take a test really fast and then get a lot of things wrong. But like I could finish it really fucking fast. Did you pass it? Yeah, yeah, I passed it. It's fine. But I probably fucked some stuff up. Min Max, yeah, exactly. You knew the answer, or you didn't. Yeah, you guys, you guys know how I remember shit. Like it wouldn't take me that long to go through everything. But um, you know, at least like things that I give a shit about. Weird flex. <laughs> it wasn't a flex. I mean, I remember um, you know, like I'd even have teachers get mad at me for doing it. Yeah, I get that over with. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> what do they call the worst graduate of medical school? A doctor. Yeah, I know that one. I do. I've seen that before. Oh boy, sweeping strikes? Oh yeah, I forgot to use that. I forgot I got that. I've been too busy getting carried, and so I uh, haven't even really learned how to play the game. Did some tests in middle school, teacher was mad that I turned him in fast? Yeah. Yeah, I was always really fast at taking tests, but um, most of the time, like, I remember I would just always hope that they would give us a review because, like, then I could just memorize the answers and then come in and do it, and that was it. I didn't have to worry. But then they stopped doing that in, in, in college, which, like, really sucked. Yeah, sweeping strikes helps out a bit. But my damage is going to be dog shit for, like, uh, quite a period of time. Do you just think I was uh, cheating and have an ego? Yeah, I don't know about that. Like, I remember um, uh, I got called out on it, like, a couple of times by, like, teachers that, like, one time, this is in, like, fifth grade, and I finished the test in, like, ten minutes. And the teacher graded the test in front of me. And I missed, like, two or three things that I literally wasn't paying attention to at all. And he announced it to the entire class. And he was, like, talking to the class during the test about all the things that I fucked up. It was really embarrassing. The Ren stacks? Uh, yeah. Well, I think I do the Ren stack. Don't I have, like, the Blood Frenzy? Yeah, yeah, I have that. So that's why I do it. Hater teacher? No, I mean, he was a great teacher. Uh, you know, it wasn't like I, I didn't like it. Well, it was embarrassing at the time, but like, it was an important lesson, you know? I feel like, I, I don't know how fast this really is. What do you guys think? I guess we'll try, uh, Cathedral after this. Since, you know, like, we just did this one. It's fast. Yeah, maybe. What lesson? Don't be a fucking idiot. That's the lesson. Oops, go inside. Ah, Alright. I've been waiting for a real challenge. Give me the fucking uh give me the fuck I want the axe. I want the axe and the helmet, because I need the helmet because my helmet's broken. Alright. Will this kill me? Yeah, it does a lot of damage. I'm gonna be a good boy and move out. Jibu doesn't give a fuck. But he's got way better gear than I do. Life. Give me strength. How much? 37? Yeah, I know. A lot of the items for him are 37. Fades of light. ZDPS? Yeah, my damage sucks. It does. Alright, here we go. Nice. Okay, great. I got the shoulder. I mean, I need all of these, so, I mean, this is one of the things that I need. I need those bad, Jibu. There's no way you need those. Are you kidding me? There's no way. Okay, let me see. Did I get the tabard? No, I did not get the tabard. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck. Fuck. 
Okay, yeah, I guess not. Alrighty, let's go. Sucks to be Jibu then? Yeah. He does need those? There's no way he actually needed those. I'm gonna scroll up and make sure. No, he passed. I was about to say. Okay. Jibu has best. Yeah, he better. Being sweaty enough to go for Whirlwind Axe immediately at 30. Yeah, I don't really give a fuck about that. I already have this sword. I mean, the sword isn't as good as Whirlwind Axe, but at least it, it's something, right? That was four bars. I only got four bars for that? That's pretty bad. I would say only four bars for that is, is bad. Let's do library real quick so I can get the key. Yeah, yeah, let's go do that. Because, like, also since they're lower-level mobs with less armor class, we can probably kill them faster. Because we're all 40, uh, 40s or zapping experience? Uh, I don't think 40s should zap experience. Library spam beats armory spam for sure. Yeah, I remember in Classic WoW, like the original Classic WoW, we would do all three of them. It's kind of crazy to think that like Classic WoW came out five years ago. Like, I, I don't know, like, it's just, it's a lot. Yeah, look at this, like there's no way I can fucking kill these guys. This guy's doing a thou- He's doing 1.6k damage. Bro, I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> yeah, I, I... Oh my god. Spicy cat raid. Holy shit. Kirshi raided with a... Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for the raid. What's up, boys? How y'all doing? Hey. We're playing Classic WoW. So if you're a VTuber viewer, you're probably too young for this game. But, you know. It's a good game. Ask your parents about it. Maybe your grandparents. Whenever, back, back, uh, 3,000 years ago when it came out. I'm a hag VTuber, don't worry. A hag? It, like, let me guess. VTuber communities call girls that are over the age of 25 hags. Is that right? Yeah. Over 30? Okay, yeah, there it is. Okay, dog training gloves, and you get the bonus to killing them. Okay, that's nice. Boost an older man, you'll be amazed. Okay, cool, go do it. You, you gonna boost me? You gonna go do it for me? For me? You gonna, you're gonna help me out? You gonna boost me an older man? Oh, thanks a lot, man. Listen, if I had somebody to do it, I would fucking do it. But I don't. I would love to get boosted in Old Man. Cat rolls, cat girls will become cougars now? Yeah, I guess so. Hunters can do cath in one pull. Okay, where are they? Where's the hunters that can do it? What do they want? Do I have to give them 10 gold? I'll give them 10 gold. Like, whatever it takes, I'll do it. Yeah, if somebody's got a if somebody's got a group, I will 100% want to do that. It's even less work than this. Mod check Legolas X. Yeah. Is WoW or New World a good place to start for someone who's never played an MMO? I don't think New World's a good game to play right now, but they did just come out with a new season today, which was kind of cool. I think really, like, if I was going to play a game right now, I would suggest to play WoW, or like Season of Discovery, for like an MMO. I think that's the game that you should focus on more than anything. Because like Season of Discovery, it's like an old version of a new, it's a new version of an old game. And there's like a lot of content still that's going to be coming out, so there's like 
continual hype. Because, like, one big problem that, like, games have is that they lose the hype factor and then nobody cares about them anymore. But, like, Season of Discovery still has that hype. And the reason why, obviously, is because, uh, you know, there's... There's, like, new content that still hasn't come out yet. Sod players are reading good right now? Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Like, I didn't really play Phase 2 at all. I think the reason why I didn't play Phase 2... I don't even know why I didn't, whenever I think about it. I think, like, the idea of, of doing Nomergon didn't really appeal to me. Pow World? Yeah, maybe it was a playing Pow World at the time, I don't remember. Nomer's ass? Yeah, I just didn't really care a lot about that. And it was, like, another 10-man raid. And I also thought that... I thought the BFD raid was good, but I didn't think it was, like... Like, I never really liked Black Fathom Deeps as, as a dungeon anyway. Like, I just didn't really give a shit, so... I, should we do calf after this too, so we can get all three of the dungeons in one reset? Because like we are clearing these really fast, and we will instance cap. Is instance cap in season of discovery? Is it five or ten? Because like in retail, it's ten. It's five. Okay, so I'm wait. I'm getting other people saying it's ten. Okay, why? Well, it's probably five. Five per hour, yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of experience out of this area. This is pretty good. You will not defile these mysteries. Alrighty, boys. Hopefully we get a really good item for warriors off of this boss. God, I hope we get a good warrior item here. Oh. Burn in righteous fire! Ooh. Vendor spec? Yeah, exactly. Wow, look at that. 26 DPS. They need to bring back the key ring. Damage and healing done. Damn, I don't even remember this at all. Robe of Doan? Fuck, okay. Yeah, let's go do Kath. I actually need the key as well. Yeah, I figured you might as well do it. You have a key ring? Yeah, I know. It's right here. I'm just saying, like, I, I wish they had never gotten rid of the key ring, because I thought it was really cool. They still have the booba pictures in this game? Or did they get rid of them? Do they? I'm gonna look around. They're in some places, they're gone. Yeah, in the side rooms, yeah. There's a pat that comes back here, so I gotta watch out for it. Yeah, there it is. I get the legacy achievement for the keys, even though I was one away. Yeah, I, I did, I had like everything. Like back in the day, I used to, I was so serious about playing WoW back in the day. Ooh, Jibu spinning on him. Get him out of here. Alright, good. Uh, I guess we go do Kath, right? See how fast that is. What do you want me to do after Season of Discovery? I want them to do a semi-permanent realm. I think they should take the successes of Season of Discovery and they should uh, like basically use that to inform how they make like a real full-on Classic Plus. Why play Season 4 of Dragonflight? Why play Season 4 of Dragonflight? I mean, I'll probably play it, yeah. Now, will I be excited about playing it? I like the faded raids because I didn't really raid a lot in the tier, so like other people's concern about it were like, oh, we already did these. Like I didn't do those a lot, so it was okay for me. But I don't know. I'll probably do a little bit of it. 
Season 4 is boring. Alpha comes out within the next two weeks. Yeah, I'll play the Alpha for War Within, for sure. What's your expectation level for War Within? Six. My expectation level is a six. That's it. So generous? Yeah. Like, obviously I'm going to be excited about a new WoW expansion. Sure, yeah, yeah, it'll be nice, but... I mean, am I really hoping or, like, you know, thinking this is going to be, like, crazy good or anything? Uh, uh, you know, it's all right, I guess. But there wasn't really anything that, like, that the War Within has to, like, really make me think to myself, oh, man, like, I really need to make sure that I play this. But also, like, they haven't really fleshed out a lot of the systems in the game. And also, I think that... I think just the way that WoW is now, where... I, I mean, I said this before, where I was talking about how... I didn't like how WoW is a seasonal game nowadays. And they're not changing that for... The War Within. So this is what I think that Blizzard should do. This is what I would like more. Maybe they shouldn't do this, but this is what I would like more. I would like if whenever a new raid tier came out, there was no, like, like they should add in, like, a few pieces of catch-up gear. Like, for sure, they should add in a few pieces. But, like, in terms of big pieces and, like, big catch-up gear, the same as, like, you know, your heroic raiding gear gets replaced by, like, world questing greens. Like, to me, that just makes me feel like I wasted my time raiding. Because, like, I want to be able to use my old gear to get to the next level. But whenever that next level is reset down to zero every patch, I feel like I'm wasting my time raiding. And so, like, for example, if, like, what was the raid after, um, uh, fucking, what's it called? Uh, after Vault of the Incarnates, like that, uh, Abaris. If, like, you needed Vault of the Incarnates gear in order to do Abaris, you would still need to do Vault of the Incarnates. Like, new players would still need to do it. And personally, I think that's better. Because that means that new players have to actually go through all the content. Because I think that one thing that happens is that... And it also creates a sense of urgency for people to get geared in the current patch. Because, like, I never feel any urgency to get geared in the current patch. Because every patch works the exact same. Where the patch basically adds in new content that, you know, has higher and bigger numbers. And then I get that new content that has higher and bigger numbers. And then I do the same thing that I did the last patch. Damn, these abbots are motherfuckers, aren't they? I'll, I'll root everything. Try and kill this guy. Yeah, they do a lot of damage. Dude, Hildren just got destroyed. That mage is gonna aggro. Have to watch out, man. Uh, even I have to move back. Demo shout him too. Mm. Yeah, this should be fine. Nice. You probably get a ton more experience farming armory at 34. No, I think Cathedral seems a lot better. Like, armory wasn't great, but we're going to do it a couple more times in order to get the gear. What's the difference between seasonal and new patches and content? Because seasonal goes from you going from step one to step two, and then the next patch you go back down to step one, and then you go up to step two again. But the way that I would want it to be would be it's like you go from step one to step two, and then a new patch comes out, and new patch is step three. And then the new patch after that is step four. And then once that becomes too oppressive, then you have an expansion, and that re resets everything. Damn. Damn, look at that shit. That's a good one. But then Sod is not a seasonal thing? Well, it's not in the same way, but like, it's, it's more or less like the timeline of progression. 
Like, I feel like I don't get gear in retail, and I don't get to enjoy that gear for long enough for me to feel like the grind was worth it. And also, like, I feel... And this is also... Like, you, you'll hear me saying, like, I'm, I feel this way. This is just simply my opinion. And I, I think, obviously, I think the game would be better this way. But I know there's other people that don't view it the same way that I do. I don't think that they're necessarily wrong. But I do think that what I want is, like, more of what an actual MMO is. Rather than, like, a lobby game. Which is what retail is. It's like a lobby simulator. So any new player needs to go under a 200 hour time investment to go through 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5? Yeah, I think they do. And I think that's a good thing. So... One of the reasons why is because, like, I'll use a good reference of this is Lost Ark. Like, Lost Ark, that's the way it worked in the West. And I think that Lost Ark was at its best whenever you had just this tremendous amount of content backlog that you could do. Because, like, Lost Ark really became bad whenever it got cut up, basically almost caught up with Korea. And you were just doing the same raid over and over. But, like, whenever you give people a ton of content to go through at the beginning... Because, like, you have to remember, like, if you're a new player, content that came out two years ago is new content for you. It's the same as, like, me recently playing Dragon's Dogma 1 or Monster Hunter World. For me, Anjanath was a new boss. Even though this game came out a long time ago, this was all new for me because I'm new to the game. You see what I'm saying? I go so far, Vanilla and TBC were just like this. Yeah, and that's why I like playing them more. I agree, you want to log into a world. The investment mindset's only relevant when the internal goal is current in-game rating. Content in itself still has value and shouldn't be discarded. Well, and that's another thing too, is like, I feel like in, and, I, and this is in like BFA, for example, there was no reason to do any of the BFA raids. Uh, hopefully I don't aggro. Okay, I'm good. I don't want to get that close. I feel like if I do, I'm going to I'm going to cause a problem. The only thing I can really do of use is, is like just fucking demo shout the mobs. Never it better. How do you incentivize old content to make uh, veteran players go through it? Well, I think you you incentivize old content and make veteran players go through it by making gameplay fun and making players willing and wanting do we want to sell that? I think we should sell that. Yeah, why don't we sell that? Because, like, I have... Like, my boots are pretty good. Like, I'm going to sell. Like, I'll pass and you guys can sell that. It's zero gold? Okay, well... You know, somebody's getting zero gold then. There's a story to the game too? Yeah, there is. And so, like... You know, in Lost Ark, it makes sense if you play through the raids chronologically... But it doesn't make sense if you just get a boost up to the fastest raid thing, and that's it. Or the most recent raid thing. Back on a wild ground, BDO's gear progression. People are active in every area of the game. Yeah, I think BDO does that in a good way. I like that, that BDO does it. Who's this Thaymine guy? Yeah, exactly. Well, like, you learn about who Thaymine is. Like, if you start the game and you get, like, power pack, master boosted, or whatever the fuck, the fucking super express, hyper, omega, you know, uh, light speed, uh, grand pass, grand pre, bonus, experience, extravaganza that Lost Ark has, and it's like, oh, you have to kill Thaymine. Who the fuck is Thaymine? Right? There's no reason that somebody wants to kill Thaymine other than the fact that, oh, he's this cool guy, he's like a fucking demon, he has a sword. Who cares? But, you know, if you played through the whole story, and, like, you're like, okay, well, this is what happened, and, like, the, the character's built up over time, that's what makes something like that exciting. And that's my point. Is, like, you have to, you have to build up expectations over time. Oh, wow. What a piece of shit. Yeah, after this, I'll reset and we'll do armory again. That's what Lost Ark just did better. Horizontal content's fun. It is. Infidels. They must be purified. But, like, the point that I'm making with the Lost Ark horizontal content is that whenever the game first came out, a lot of people, like, how many of you guys really had a lot of fun the first month of Lost Ark? Ah. Uh. 
shall pay for this treasure. Me? Yeah, right. It was incredible. And all of that content was old content. It was all old content. So, like, it doesn't matter whether content is new or old. It matters whether it's fun. So, like, Valton came out in, like, 2018 or 2019 or something like that. But whenever it came out in the West, everybody loved it. At your side, milady. Where's he at? There it is. So that's that's how I see it. Oh jeez. Oh stupid fucking helmet, are you kidding me? Piece of shit. Yeah, I know. I need the necklace. Actually, I probably don't. Necklace is kinda bad. It's fun because we were doing it at the same time as everyone else though. Imagine it was you and fifty others that did it. Oh, that's really good for me. Big, big, big. Yeah, true. Big dick. Big dick. Let's go. Hopefully I get it. Jibu, you do not need that. You rat. What do you mean you need that? Oh, I won the roll. Okay, good. I got it. Thank God. Hildren, do you actually want this? Because, like, if you're tanking, I'll give you the legs. Yeah, I I'll give them to you because, oh, fuck, I can't trade. I'm still racking as well. Yeah, I would have given that to you if I had known that. Fuck. Yeah, I can't trade. It, it doesn't have, like, a trade window. Oops. Yeah, I, I would have actually let him have it. It is what it is. We'll get another one? Yeah, most likely. I think Old Rage should have some bis that remains useful even whenever newer content comes out. Well, like, that's what Classic WoW... Oops, sorry. Let's do uh, Armory again. We'll just do the same rotation. Like, Armory, Library, Cathedral. Do you think you're getting at 40 today? Maybe. It might take me until tomorrow night. Or tomorrow, like, uh, afternoon. But then I'll hit 40. Yeah, it'll be fine. Lost Ark is great, but it's just too vertical. Yeah, there's too much stuff. And, like, that's what I was saying. Like, Lost Ark needs a tier 4. Like, they need a tier 4, but they just won't do it. And I think the reason why Lost Ark won't do it is because of whales. Like, they don't want to invalidate whale progress because whales have spent, like, uh, you know, $50,000 on sidereal weapons. And so they don't they don't want to make those whales, like, have to refarm that. Seven-day lockout versus three-day lockout. Oh, for Season of Discovery? I think that for a 10-man raid, a three-day lockout isn't a big deal. But I, I bet that the Sunken Temple raid, like, it seems to me like the Nomergon raid is a lot harder than the BFD raid, right? Like, am I, am I wrong about that? Yeah, it's way harder, right? And so I bet the Sunken Temple raid will be even harder than the Nomergon raid. So at a certain point, making somebody go through a raid that's like, that, that's a certain level of difficulty every three days, especially whenever people have multiple characters in a lot of circumstances, people don't play Classic WoW to be challenged. Like, not at least in the same way that, you know, like, uh, you know, retail WoW challenges you. Like, people play Classic WoW for the progression, and they play it for the grind, and they play it for, like, the class fantasy. People who play Classic WoW are the, Yeah, they are the challenge. Um, so, like, I, I do worry if they're trying to, like, make raids. Like, I, I, I think Blizzard should make class... They should keep Classic WoW really easy. Like, that's unironically what my, what my opinion is. Do I even want to have this two-set bonus? I mean, my bracers are about to break. They have three durability. I guess I can just take this, and if I need to use it, I will. Prepping for phase three? Yeah. As soon as it turns to retail level of visual mechanics and it's not classic? Yeah. And I think that's why classic WoW is fun. It's because it's easy. And if you make Classic WoW really hard, you're going to take away the reason why people enjoyed it. 
which is because it's relaxing and fun. Like, that's why I think that, um, you know, so many people raided at the beginning of Wrath, too. It's because Nax was a really easy raid. Five, five. That's actually better than what I have. I'm going to need on that. Got a new cloak. Max was a pushover? Yeah, it was. It was super easy. When do you die in retail? When do you die in classic? All the fucking time. Well, you die in retail. It depends on what content you have. Like, you're doing. Like, classic WoW, I think, is like a much easier game. But the difficulty in classic WoW isn't really optional. Whereas in retail WoW, retail WoW can be infinitely harder than anything classic has ever made. But it can also be infinitely easier than classic has ever made. So, like, difficulty is, like, optional in Classic WoW. Ooh, my chest piece broke. I guess I'll use this chest piece instead. Classic WoW is more gear-based. Sometimes you're just gonna die. I mean, sometimes, and there are, like, RNG things, like Thrash and stuff like that. Have Emir or Tectone tried Sod? Uh, I, I don't think so. I, I don't think that, I don't think anything could get Emiru to play Classic WoW again. Like, I don't know. I mean, if I was her and I was going to play Classic WoW again, I would fucking hate myself. I mean, let's be honest, like, she had such a bad time. Like, I remember whenever I saw that, I forgot even which one it was whenever she got killed. It was just... It was just sad. It was just fucking sad. The fact that OnlyFans died after the first raid, too. Well, that's because people were just doing it for content, you know? It's the same as streamers playing any other game. It's not really something that's worth taking too seriously. The SM death was sad. Yeah. Yeah, that was brutal. Christmas break broke up the momentum for OnlyFangs? No, the content did. The truth is that, like... It's, like, it, it's fun to watch, but, like... I think it's the same as, like, GTA RP, where... If people go and, like, do it for a while, they get excited, but then after a while, the excitement kind of fades away, and then people lose interest. I think that happens with, like, every game to an extent, right? Is like, a new season or, like, a new type of content will come out, and then people will be playing it a lot, and then they'll lose interest in it over time. s Fan is lost in GTA. Well, I thought he tweeted today that, like, you know, like, Cornwood, the story is over or something like that. It was April Fools. Oh, good one. Yeah. Hardcore is great to watch. I can't bring myself to play it. Yeah. I think also, like... Something like that isn't going to be entertaining. Like, Hardcore WoW is a good example of this. Where it's like, it's not really entertaining in the long term. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's entertaining for people to watch for, like, maybe a month or so. But then after that, people start, you start seeing the same things. Good point, I just want to watch you guys fans here. What's up, man? Let's join Rain Chat. No drama games. I think that there's always people that, um, no dumb games like Dragon Shipman, those anime gacha games. Yeah, well, I mean, you're not going to be having fun for very long because I'm going to go back and play the other games. I think it was the best decision I ever made to move away from, like, only streaming WoW. Like, uh, it really was, like, it was such a bad decision to, or such a bad, a bad vibe to, like, only be playing WoW all the time. Because the difference is that, like, WoW players, there's, like, there's a subset of WoW players that, like, actually hate every other game. And they don't want you to play anything else besides WoW. And, like, you'll see this with, like, any sort of, like, competitive WoW player. Like, they'll go from getting, like, 800 viewers in the WoW section to getting 80 viewers in another game. Like, they're just, like, 
and they'll never have like 90% of those people, I would say like 95, almost every single one of them will never grow their career beyond that. Like they'll never be able to get past that because WoW players just simply don't have an interest in any other type of content. And I think obviously some of the reasons for that uh, is that like a lot of the people that are, um, a lot of the people that have that problem are boring and they don't really have much of an interesting personality at all. And they don't have anything inter interesting to say. Like the reason why people watch them is because they're good at one video game. So like if the value of, of that, if the, val if the, the value add of the stream is that you're good at a video game and you're not playing that video game, then why would people watch like, the stream? Give me strength. Think about it, right? Raw community gets a very niche world. Yeah, exactly. Shit! All right. Holy fuck, we got it. I need that? No, please don't need. Please don't need. Because it, 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 like, it fucking, it does the thing where you can't trade it. Please, bro. Please, please, please. Please give me the fucking sack. I need the axe. I need the axe. Come on. I won't need on it for 100 gold. Okay, Jibu, I need to borrow 100 gold. Yeah, I need to borrow 100 gold because I don't have any money. One co No, it's not enough. Nice, I fucking got it. That's good. All I need is the helmet now. That's nuts. Okay, let's go do um, let's go do library again. Can I disagree with that? I think they merely played the game so much, put time into it. Don't want to invest the time into another game. Well, I'm talking about like other streams. Like, and also, like, there are people, like, there's a lot of people that aren't gamers. They're WoW players. Like, from, I would say, like, 2007, the only other game I really played seriously was Halo. And that was only for, like, six months whenever Halo 3 came out. Then, after that, I pretty much just played WoW. That was it. I only played WoW. And I would play maybe another game every once in a while, right? Like, super, super rarely. New World? Well, yeah, but that wasn't till like, 2020, whenever New World uh, Preview came out. The Gloves from Cathedral 2? Oh, Gauntlets of Divinity. Yeah, you're right. Dark Souls is what saved you? No, I actually think that the game that I played, like, whenever Variety started going better for me, was... It was probably around Final Fantasy XIV. Because the problem is like, yeah, it was Final Fantasy XIV that really helped me do more variety. More than anything else. Because... Like, another thing is that, like, for a lot of my viewers... Like, they were all WoW players, but I think that for a lot of my viewers, after... Like, a lot of them moved over and played Final Fantasy as well. It was a giant big deal? Yeah, it was. It was huge, right? Like, the streams were popping off then. It was crazy. Shadowlands was blast blessing that away. Yeah, a great reason to play new things. Well, what I mean is, like... So, a lot of the... A lot of the other games and everything that I was playing... Like, people were still, like, kind of attached to WoW. But after, I think, like, all that drama happened with Shadowlands, people did kind of lose interest in WoW wholesale. Like, they just didn't care as much about the game as they used to. And I think that WoW never really recovered from that. Like, even now, I don't think WoW has recovered from that. So then whenever I played uh, Final Fantasy XIV, like, then I started, like, always playing that game, and it was going really well. And, like, there's a lot of people that were watching that. And then, like, after I finished playing that, then I started playing other games after that. And uh, that's whenever I think I did, like, way better variety. Release playing other games, they are kind of just taunting. People don't like a game you would play and stick around and listen to. Yeah, and that's another thing is, like, I usually just, like, yeah, it's really content. It's, like, just fucking talking about stuff, right? And, uh... Like, games like Dark Souls are good events, but they're a bad way to, uh, really make content long-term. Oh, 
fuck? I've got to get more Pepsis. This is bad. Remember Lost Ark, you got the viewer record? Yeah, there were a lot of people that watched during Lost Ark. I had like 100, 150, 200k viewers a lot of times playing that game. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, it was insane. Yeah, it was. And it was good. I mean, like, playing Final Fantasy was the same thing. And, uh, it was a lot of fun. You playing Honkai Star anytime soon? Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm gonna play it again. I just don't know exactly when. The Death Trials are you really popped off? Well, no, I mean, I, I think, like, here's the thing, is that I'm actually... I feel like I've gotten pretty good at, like, farming things, I guess, on Twitch. And I don't really do it as much as I used to because I don't really care as much as I used to. But, like, I would always try to be in the, you know, milk the shit out of it. Yeah, exactly. Like, just being there, doing the right thing at the right time. Like, just straight up doing that. Equip the axe. Okay, sure. Let me put it on. Fucking idiot. Shut up. Get out of here. Oops. Yeah, you're right. Oops. Click harder? Yeah. You just know the level requirements? Yeah, I know, man. Imagine not knowing... Not knowing the level requirement of an axe in a, in a fucking 20-year-old game. Do you think WoW players are the biggest WoW haters? Yeah. Yeah, if you tell a Final Fantasy player that their game sucks, they'll send you a death threat. If you tell a WoW player that their game sucks, they'll agree with you. It's definitely true. They'll be like, oh, you don't you don't have any idea. Like, you want to really know how bad it is. Look, you know, how much time you got? I got plenty of time to talk about it. Yeah. Mm. Did you see Blizzard did exactly what you said they should? And they added Guzu's warrior in the Sunken Temple? I didn't see that. Um, if that's true, it's really fucking funny. Not some Diddy situation? I don't give a fuck. I mean, unless the, unless the trial's getting televised, do you think I care about, like, some random Hollywood celebrity, like, singer? And, like, what he does on his free time? Who cares? Why, why would I care about that? I mean, he could be a murderer for all I care. Like, just don't kill me. I mean, just, yeah, it's like, that's not my decision. Like, it's the, it's the court to decide, figure it out. But if they do televise the trial, I will be there. I will be there, and I will know everything about it. Yep, and then we're going to be watching, exactly. Like, then, then, then there'll be some time to talk about it. When you want the gear to be relevant, like horizontal progression, like farming for skins and shit. Yeah, I mean, some skins and stuff like that is okay, but I think that at a certain point it becomes too much and it becomes oppressive. Because there's just so much stuff. Johnny Depp farm is fat? Oh yeah, that, that the Johnny Depp trial. That shit was fucking funny. I remember I actually was... Like, in a way, I was kind of sad whenever it was over because it was, like, such easy content and so many people were watching. But I was actually kind of glad, too, because I was having to wake up and be live at 8 a.m. And it was like, that's too early. Like, I don't want to wake up at 7 a.m. and then be live by 7.50 so I can watch the trial. It was so bad. And so, yeah, I was so glad to just, like, oh, it's over? Oh, thank God. That's it. I can just, like, go to sleep today and chill out. Too much like a job? Yeah, bro. It felt, yeah, streaming felt like a job. It was awful. The memes were godlike. Yeah, people love the memes. I mean, it was a good time. Like, uh, you will not defile these mysteries. I remember, like, apparently the Netflix documentary painted me out like I was a, uh, like a bad guy, which I thought was kind of funny. Burn in righteous fire. Like to me, that kind of stuff doesn't really bother me or whatever. I wonder if it hits me if I'm here. Yeah, it did because I resisted. I forgot if it was line of sight or distance. Oops. Hmm. 
All right, let's do calf again. Just cool that you were in it, yeah. It also implied that we donate to get our chats on the screen. <laughs> yeah. I was more shocked at how incompetent the experts were. Kind of hurt my view of the justice system. Well, I think that, like, after the whole thing with that, it really did show that whenever somebody says experts say, you should be like, yeah, really? That is that it? Yeah, experts? Is that right? What does that actually mean? Yeah, some of those guys were fucking clowns. Remember the weird guy that kept doing the thing with his mouth? It's like, I thought it was like, at a certain point, it was like, if this was a TV show, it like, wouldn't be believable because of how stupid it was. Doofenshmirtz? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I don't remember. I think I was the best, yeah. Lucy Pyre called me out for being a Twitch Turbo user. I told her you told me to do it. What does Lucy even do nowadays? Because I remember she spent, like, eight months playing Elden Ring. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. It was, like, eight months. She was just playing Elden Ring, and that was it. Lewd VTuber shit? So she's just being a hoe? Hey, you know, it is what it is. Do VTuber communities really call, like, girls over 25 or 30 hags, though? Like, does that really happen, or is that like a meme? Yeah? It's a meme though? No, it's not. I promise you it's not a meme for a lot of them. That's amazing. It's not actually true, it's just a meme? Alright, alright guys, alright. There's probably some in there? Yeah, yeah, alright. I hear the VTuber community is horribly backstabby. I think the reason why there's, like, so much, like, kind of, like, super passive-aggressive drama in the VTuber community is because... What's my played on this level? 23 minutes. That's pretty good. It's because there aren't really a lot of VTuber viewers, so everybody's competing for the same fish. It's like... It's the same thing I said with Minecraft. It's like, when the well runs dry, the people begin to eat each other. And so the moment that, like, the, uh, the Minecrafters aren't just growing, like, you know, indefinitely, then they start trying to cancel each other, and they start trying- I'm gonna need this just so I have something to put on my head. Uh, where's the strider meat? Let me get rid of that. And probably get rid of this too. You know, start drama. Yeah, yeah, and so, like, now they're, like, canceling each other and, like, oh, I'm so sorry this happened to you. I can't believe this happened. It's like somebody could say, like, oh, yeah, um, you know, some Minecrafter was in World War II on the Nazi side, and they'll be like, wow, I can't believe that they would do that. And just, like, the most blatant bullshit just gets passed around because I think that a lot of people, uh, you know, like, the Minecrafters, like, they... And I think it's the same with VTubers, like, there's not a huge audience for that right now. And, uh, you know, I think it comes in waves, right? And so, whenever there's not a huge audience, you- it, it becomes more important to push other people down. Because there's not enough to go around. They see, like, any streamers. I think that all streamers behave this way, to an extent. But I think with certain streaming communities, it's worse. So, like, you're right that, like, this is a, it, it is a default issue in streaming, but it's, it's way worse in certain communities. <clears throat> Gotta backstab my friend for 10 extra viewers. Well, most streamers aren't really friends with each other. They're, like, co-workers. You know, like, that's really what's going on. It's, like, two actors that are acting in the same movie. Like, they're cordial and polite to each other in a lot of cases. And, you know, there are instances of actors being friends, and, like, it's not like it doesn't happen. But just because two people are actors doesn't necessarily mean that they're friends. 
You see what I'm saying? So like there's like people, there's like streamers that I interact with kind of regularly. And then there's like actual like friends of mine. You know, like I don't want to go through like, oh, these are the people who aren't really my friend or like whatever. But like, just as an example, like S fan is very clearly actually my friend, right? Like, I'll just give one example. I don't want to go through anybody else. But, like, that's that's an example of somebody that's actually a friend. I've known him for, like, fucking six, seven years now at some point. It's been a really long time. 95% of streamers would really throw any other streamer under a bus for a few views. Well, I don't think it would be a few viewers. It would just need to be one. <laughs> or a couple. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't. you wouldn't need to go that high. So yeah, um, it's a new Valkyrie tweet about more co-workers than friends and podcasts. No, no, I, I didn't see what she said. And there's other people that, like, I probably would be more friendly with and would be friends with, but, like, I'm just, like, always, I'm always doing stuff, right? And, like, I don't really have the time to, like, interact with them or, like, spend time with them or do anything, which is, like, sometimes the case as well. Ooh, that's a good one. I need one of these. Delete this shit. Might be good. Ah, oh, fuck. But yeah, anyway, um... You know, I think that's one thing that, like, viewers kind of get wrong. And, like... People always have, like, opinions of, like, who's actually this way or whatever. And I think, like, for VTubers, it's because VTubers don't have as many, like, you know, the, the pool of VTuber viewers. People view is, like, not as big, at least on Twitch. So I think that that's why there's more drama. What do you think of male VTubers? I think that male VTubing will become more popular as more female viewers are on the platform. Because I think that a lot of people like VTubers, like there's a reason why almost every single VTuber is a pretty girl with big boobs, right? Like, let's be honest. It's because like, there's a lot of guys that like watching that. So like right now, like you have a few like male VTubers, right? Like I think Lord Aethelstan is probably one of the biggest ones, at least, at least on Twitch, right? I know there's people on YouTube that are also very popular, but um, Girls like him too. Yeah, and also girls like hot girls. What, what a big surprise. But I think as time goes on, that's cool. Uh, as time goes on, you'll see, you know, more more male VTubers that become more popular over time because they'll have grown that audience over that period of time. And that audience will then become, will, will exist. Does that make sense? You see a video of kids streamers putting their hands in people's food? Uh, no, I didn't see that. I mean, I, like, whenever I was a kid, like, we would do annoying things too. Like, we didn't do that annoying thing, but if we could, like... I'm not gonna go, like, obviously kids are stupid nowadays and it's disgusting and it's bad. But I'm not gonna act like the generation is bad because, like, we had things that we did whenever we were kids that were it was equally as bad and like if i was a kid now i'd probably do something like that too like just for youtube views or something like that like i would 100 percent be doing that shit so like i remember my mom whenever there were like the riots for blm i uh she said that she was really glad that it wasn't 10 years ago that this happened because me and cody and jeff would be looting <laughs> we'd be the looters and she was right like we 100 percent would have done that it would have been so fun too but yeah so like it's just like, it's a different thing. The Soldier Boy era? Yeah, like 2006? Yeah, I remember that real well. Yeah, I was in high school then. Are we pulling everything back, or what are we doing? Um, yeah, I should be fine here. Yeah, the Immunity Matters, the dude in England doing illegal shit. Well, like, what I'm saying is, like, kids are always going to do really stupid stuff, but, like, I don't think that kids doing stupid stuff is indicative of anything more than that kid being stupid. 
Like, I don't think that, for example, I, I, I genuinely believe this. I don't think that kids nowadays are dumber than they used to be. I think that in their, there are cases where they're not educated as well as they should be. But I don't think that they're really dumber. I just think that that knowledge is somewhere else. If that makes sense. Parents are getting worse with jobs. Adults are failing too. Yeah. Now they're dumb as fuck, man. Yeah, but like, I guarantee you, if we talk to a guy that's like 15 years older than us, he would say the same thing about us. Like, growing up. And that's like, that's what I'm saying, right? Is like, people don't really have the, the self-awareness to realize that... Like, yeah, you might think that like, all the kids are bad now, but guess what people used to think about you? Dusty male boots. Those are garbage. All right. Hopefully we get something good here. The mace? Well, actually, I, no, yeah, I just want the gloves. Yeah, I need the gloves. I don't think they're dumber nowadays. I think they're more confused because they have access to more information than previous generations did. Yeah, I think that's probably true. Yeah, you're probably right about that. Who's in your MySpace top eight? My MySpace top eight? Cody? Uh. I don't think Jeff had a MySpace. Zach. Lowell. Uh. Fuck. I think probably just like friends from high school and shit like that at that point. Like, I'm thinking of people that, like, that y'all would know. My champion. No, Tom? No. At your side, milady. Favorite wild classic leveling zone? Uh, Red Ridge Mountains is my favorite. Yeah, I always really liked Red Ridge Mountains a lot. Jesus, bro, she's getting destroyed. Look at that mace. Oh, he got it. Alright, let's get the gloves. I need the gloves. Give me the gloves. Oh, wow. Handbook of Commanding Shout. Holy shit. I just got a new skill. Fuck yeah. Uh, this really isn't for me. I mean, there's never a universe where I'm going to use that. I got to reset and then we'll do armory again. You see J JK Rowling's Twitter thread? No, somebody tweeted about it, or like, I saw somebody talk about it, but like, I don't really read that. Like, I'm the kind of person that... Like, I don't really care what somebody... Like, JK Rowling's opinion on like, somebody's gender is. Like, I don't really care about that, because she's not really a doctor. She doesn't have any experience in the field. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, so like... If she doesn't believe in like, you know, trans women or real women, like, this isn't... Like... Fuck, like... She's going to have whatever opinion she wants to have. And, like, she's not really an expert in the, in, the, in the field, so... I don't really find it important to, like, debunk her, if that makes sense. Did you reset? Yeah, I did. I don't worry about that, but I believe unlike the U.S., there's the U.K. doesn't have real free speech. Well, I'm proud to be an American. Like, if the U.K. doesn't have free speech and she's going to get shit on or, like, arrested for saying what she's saying, then that's not my problem. You know, like, like, I give a fuck. It's kind of the same opinion that I had with, like, that Stellar Blade thing. Like, I don't really care what people in France do. <laughs> like, what, what people are think, what are people thinking about in French? Like, I'm, I don't care about this. It's like, I view it as, like, a different culture. So it's not as important to me. Like, I can still think it's stupid, but, like, I don't have, like, the same sense of, like... Like, I, I, don't, I don't feel like I have to go and, like, fight against it, if that makes sense. Ran on about some crackhead shit without risking jail and just moved to the USA. Yeah, exactly. 
JK Rowling didn't say anything bad. I mean, I don't even... This is kind of crazy for me to think, or for me to say. Maybe people might not believe this, but I actually don't really even know what her opinions on trans people are. Because it has no relevance to me at all. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's not going to affect me in any way. So why would I give a shit? It's the same as like any other celebrities like political opinions. Like I just don't care. Harry Potter was pretty good. Yeah, I really liked Harry Potter. I thought it was a great series. I mean, it's not like I'm a... Uh, you know, I don't think it's the greatest thing that's ever been made. But I think that it was actually very good. Two-handed mace. I'm not going to use that. Those are actually pretty good gloves. Strength and stamina like that. Jesus Christ, they're better than mine. Okay, I'll make sure I put all these in. Deathly Hallows was decent. Yeah, I think that... Well, I think that a lot of them are good. Yeah, I watched all the movies. Uh, I read the first book, but that was it. I don't like reading books. I think it's a waste of time. The reason why I don't like reading books is I feel like in a lot of times... Uh, there's like a lot of... There's a lot of words that don't need to be there. Like, I don't really care about a lot about, like, literary expression a lot. Like, I, I'm kind of, like, much more of, like, a, like, meat and potatoes fucking, I just want to know the facts. Yeah, just filler. Yeah, and, and, like, so, like, whenever I read a book, I feel like in a lot of cases, I'm wasting my time reading words that aren't relevant, that I don't really care about. And bullet points, yeah. Like, for example, like, I read all day, every day, but I just can't face force myself to, like, read a book. You still miss out? Well, that's fine. I mean, nobody can experience everything. But I'm just talking about, like, this is my opinion. I'm not saying books are bad. I'm just saying, like, this is why I don't read them. In the same way, I read a ton. Yeah. Hmm. The minor details are there to immerse. Yeah, I don't do that, though. It's just, like, I've never... Like, I've read books before. But, again, like, I, I don't really read for... Like, I read for information, not for pleasure. And so, like, everything that I do, like, kind of... Like, I'm very focused on, like, kind of doing something or, like, having some sort of goal. And so if I don't have that goal, like, I feel like I'm wasting my time. It's a big difference, yeah. Thank you. Leveled up. Put these two in there. Got one more level that I can use Ravager. Wow player brain? I mean you call it whatever you want, but it's just that's just the way it is. This isn't a gotcha, because when you said you read Lord of the Rings, really enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean I, I read like I figured out basically. So I, I read the first half of the first book. I didn't read any of the other books besides the first one. I read it whenever I was in, like, I think it was 6th or 7th grade. And that was about it. And then, like, I read more stuff, like, online. But, like, reading something online is different than reading an actual book. You got the gist of it? Yeah, exactly. So basically you like the movies? Yeah, yeah. So sad I couldn't do The Hobbit justice with the films. Nah, it's whatever. I mean, nothing's gonna be perfect. Googling the wiki to know the war without ever reading the books. Yeah, I mean, I'm that kind of person, right? Where, like, I just... Like, I, I like knowing information and, like, like figuring things out and, like, learning things. But... This is a new item.
I've never seen this item before. It's for a priest rune? Oh, really? Okay. So I should throw it away then? I guess I'll just throw it away. Or maybe I'll keep it and give it to somebody. You vendor him? That's like 10 silver. Oh, wow. 10 silver? Really? Oh my god. I think reading books is key to success. Meanwhile, having the information gets you there. I think that, um... Well, it, it's interesting because... Like, at least for me, like, I don't really like reading books, but I spend all day reading. So it's not like I'm not reading anything. I just don't really care about reading books for pleasure. As in, you can't picture things in your mind while most people don't have it. Isn't it a disease? Oh, I can't picture things in my mind? No, I easily can. Uh, like, I can picture things in my mind so well. That's how I can kind of, like, have mental screenshots of, like, all of the different... Like, remember back whenever I would do transmog competitions? And I would, uh, I would tell people where they stood in the competition? That's because I have, like, that mental screenshot. Your picture's dick in your mouth? Oh, yeah, there, is that it? Those are fun? Yeah, yeah. At least now I can take more damage. Well, I probably should have done... Give me strength! Should have done, uh... Sunders. Fade light. Helmet, 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 helmet. I already have that one. I was hoping that we get the helmet, but like going two for like two out of three runs is pretty good. Okay, do we get a tabard? Nope. To be fair, I don't really give a shit about the tabard. All right, let's go. What in that case? I can kind of uh, drop in a story and forget that I'm reading. No, I, I can very easily, like, visualize things. Uh, it's just that I, I just, like, I find the process to be a waste of time if I'm not doing it in a way that's useful to me. I'm wearing the tabard already. Yeah, the, I, I like our tabard. I think our tabard's great. We'll do a uh, library again. And there's people who literally can't visualize stuff. It blows my mind. Yeah, I mean, there's people that think that they're uh, an animal. Like, there is never a time where a person doing or thinking something is going to surprise me. Because people are fucking crazy. And of course there's going to be a way that somebody can be stupid. There's plenty of ways somebody can be stupid. Yeah, I mean, there's thousands of them. It's really not that big of a shock. The people who have married a building? Yeah, yeah. People all, people think all kinds of stupid shit. I'm going inside of here. Surprised you never got into chess if you're that good at memorization in other games. Uh, chess? I think it's boring. I just don't really, like... I like being able to be creative to solve problems. And... If I can't do that, because like chess is very much like a closed system, and so it's not as interesting for me to like be good at something like that. And like I'm not saying obviously it's it's easy. It's not easy. Like oh, fuck, it's probably really really hard. But uh, it's just not something that I find to be interesting. Any chess with uh, skins and loot boxes? Just to practice. Yeah, I'm, I'm very much a practical person. Like, that's one of the things I always really liked about WoW, is that WoW had, like, there was so much in the game. And it's one of the things I like about PoE as well, is that knowledge becomes, like, more... Knowledge is effectively power. And so, like, the more that you know, the better you are at doing what you're trying to do. 
And that's why, like, for example, I think my guide videos were so good in WoW, is because I knew everything about the game on a level that, like, nobody else really knew. And so, or at least nobody that was making videos. Because everybody else that made videos about WoW, like, they were just, they were garbage. And so, why would I want to watch them? And God's got me to come in the game? Yeah, exactly. Board games really bore the hell out of me. I hate board games. Yeah, they are B-O-R-E-D for me. Like, I could give less of a fuck about a board game, man. Oh, God. I used to feel the same, but I started enjoying them a lot. Yeah, I just... I just can't get into it, man. I tried because I, I have friends that like try to get me into like playing them with them and I'll, I'll always like if I, if I have friends that are like into it and they want me to do it like I, I would I would do it like it's not a big deal it's not like I I have some sort of like fucking moral you know stance against board games or like oh I, I can't play board games but I just I, I it's never something that I would I would want to do it's never something that I would engage in voluntarily. Did you like D&D? D &D? is okay. I liked it much more on stream than I did just like everything else. Doing it privately. Okay. Did you ever reboot D&D? &D? I would if I had the right people. Like, I, I would really like to do it, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen. It was fun. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, isn't card game like Magic the Gathering? Um, Magic card games like Magic the Gathering? No, because like it was pretty, like Magic the Gathering was like a lot more fast paced, and I never felt that way about Magic. There's Riku with McConnell. Yeah. I mean, we just basically have to replace Rich and, like, get maybe some other people and do it. But I just haven't really wanted to do that recently. Uh, I know McConnell, like, McConnell would probably be down for sure. I, I think Riku would be down for sure, too. S-Fan? I don't know if S-Fan would have the time. Place rich will become the wild card, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I think having like random people in and doing a uh doing like continuous doing like one shots is probably a better idea because it's more accessible for like an average viewer. recommend Gwent, but it died a few days ago or a few months ago. I don't give a shit about that kind of stuff. Like, Magic the Gathering is, like, the only card game that I think I will ever get into. Like, I, because I played Magic ever since I was 14. And, like, I remember I started playing in Mirrodin. Uh, maybe it was Rav... No, I, I remember whenever Ravnica came out, so it wasn't Ravnica. Um, it was... Maybe... No, Kamigawa. That was my first... Yeah. My first, uh draft was Kamigawa because I remember I had like one of the uh the like the big cards and I played it in like a draft yeah it was way back it was a long long time ago oh my god it was the best set period yeah it was really fun let's play commander I don't even really know how commander works I think like People have explained it to me, but I've never really played it or taken it that seriously. Yu-Gi-Oh is messed up. I didn't like the art for Yu-Gi-Oh. I thought it was stupid. I did. I thought it was fucking stupid. And so I didn't I didn't ever play it or do anything like that. And also I thought that I thought magic was just cooler. 
I think also, like, really for me, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! probably would have been a lot bigger, but because I was a bit older, whenever Yu-Gi-Oh! came out, like, I was already kind of, like, a bit too old for it. Did you ever play the Warhammer Warcraft board game? No, never. I didn't give a fuck about that. Bro, I cannot wait till I can actually do damage. My damage sucks so fucking bad. That's just not cool anymore. It has no identity. Adding a bunch of TV shows. I thought that was stupid too. I didn't like that. Because it takes away from the escapism of it. And I understand, like, they are, they always had, like, the unglued sets and everything like that back in the day, too. But for whatever reason, I didn't like it. I'm older than you. I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in middle school. Really? Fuck. Like, yeah, I remember, like, it only got popular, like, in high school for me. And also, like... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pop retail, bro. Oh, there it is. There it is. Nice. Bro, Jibu fucking farmed. Holy shit. Nice job. Magic Gathering, 15 years. It's a little Doctor Who. Yeah. Transformer set killed the immersion for me. Yu-Gi-Oh! show premiered in 2000. Yeah, like, that's the thing is that I remember whenever I was, uh... Whenever I went to middle school... Like, in fifth grade, everybody was, like, really into Pokemon. And then I went to middle school and, like, nobody... Everybody thought Pokemon was for losers and, like, nobody cared about it anymore. And that was, like, 2001. Yeah, so, like, by, by that time, I was, like, already kind of out of it. Is that the only guy I knew like Pokemon until Pokemon Go released? Yeah, Pokemon Go was really big. It's actually kind of crazy to think about how big Pokemon Go was. I mean, people still play it, but like back then it was nuts. Alright, we'll do Kath. Bullying kids in school for Pokemon to fit in with the mask and then going home and playing it on DS? Yeah. Don't worry, warrior with bombs and oil of emulation. We're staying above the 200 warriors. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to play. I think I'm just going to play whatever is, like, the highest DPS spec whenever I hit level 50. I'm not really going to worry about, like... Like, I mean, if there's another version of it that's, like, way more fun to play and it's, like, way easier and it does, like, 10% less damage, then, yeah, I'd probably play that instead. But I'll probably just go with, like, you know, what's the best spec and then I'll just do that. Pretty simple. Hillary single-handedly lost the election with the Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go to the polls. Holy fuck! Like that was like a that was like legendarily stupid. Oh my god, that was fucking dumb. Twenty sixteen really was a fever dream. I remember I screenshotted like the electoral votes saying Donald Trump won. Because I'm like, there's no way this shit is good. there's no way this shit is real. Nah, like yeah, no way, bro. Like not nah, this this shit did not happen. <laughs> yeah. Was that the reason she lost? I think people just really didn't like her. And she had, like, I mean, the thing is that, like, she had so much baggage from, like, being a politician for so long that, uh, you know, it's like there was, like, infinite content to go after, to go after her for. She's a lizard. Yeah, there's that, too. So, Joe Biden, to be fair, Trump won his chance, was useless in his first term. Yeah, he didn't, the thing is, like, Trump, like... At the end of the day, Trump didn't bring home the bacon. Hillary was not in jail. The wall was not built. Mexico didn't pay for it. So the things that he said were going to happen didn't happen. And so, yeah, people weren't as enthusiastic about voting for him again.
And also, I think the real reason why Trump lost is because of COVID. To be honest with you, I was surprised it was as close as it was. Like, I thought he was going to get blown the fuck out. Because, like, whether you think that, it, like, it's true or not, I, I do think media successfully blamed Trump for COVID. Because, like, you know, for example, like, and he did dismantle, like, there was, like, a, like, a pandemic team that, like, Obama had put together, and Trump dismantled it. And I'm not saying, like, that, you know, if he hadn't done that, COVID wouldn't have happened. Like, I think it, it still would have happened. But, like, the messaging was definitely there that it was Trump's fault. And I think the messaging was persuasive enough to, uh, to get people to think, to believe it. Want to close the border? They called him racist. He should have. Well, the point is that it's not about like whether it was racist or not. It's like you can you can debate like the reality of things as much as you want, but what really matters is what people think about them, not necessarily what happened. So, like, if people think something is true, then in a way, it kind of becomes true. That's it. Perception is reality. Yeah, exactly. Especially whenever you're trying to predict what people are going to do. Because people get caught up too much in, like, what their what their perception of, of reality is. And I think it interferes with, like, them being able to look at things realistically. Because they're only thinking about it from, like, their point of view or from, like, their, their opinion or, like, with their information. Seven point four earthquake hit Taiwan a few hours ago. It hit Taiwan. How could it hit Taiwan if Taiwan doesn't exist? Yeah, what do you mean? What's Taiwan? Yeah, what are you talking about? Well, yeah, that sucks. I, don't, I I think seven point four is like that's bad. Yeah, did, did I get credits out of that? The guy sold out. <laughs> Chinese sponsors incoming? Yeah, maybe. I think that whenever I... I don't know what I'm going to do in order to get to 40 or 50. Because, like, I kind of don't want to just dungeon grind, but I bet doing questing will be really annoying. So it makes me think, like, do I really want to do questing, or should I just go and spam dungeons? Like, ZF? Yeah, I could spam ZF. Because I think, like, you know, on patch day, it's do Nomergon, and Nomergon will probably take me up to 50, like, to 41, right? Because whenever I did BFD, it took me up a whole level. So if you're 41, you should be able to get to... You should be able to do, Z, do ZF at 41. It will be hard, but you're going to have, like, really good gear. So it shouldn't be that bad. And especially, like, you know, if you're 41 doing it, you're going to be getting a lot of experience. We want questing, please. Yeah, but the problem is I play on a PvP server. And this is kind of, like, why I said I, I didn't want to play on a PvP server. And, like, if we do questing, like... All of the content is just going to be people trying to run after me or somebody I'm playing with uh, killing me. And so it's like, yeah, why would I want to do that? That sounds awful. What a bad feeling it was. Well, I, I played on it because I could just transfer off. And also, like, I didn't really plan on playing this that often. It's a pretty good belt. Sat an hour call with you, trying to get us to not go on a PvP server. Yeah, I know, but like everybody else wanted to do it. Like I didn't want to go on an RP server either. It actually wasn't like I got blamed for 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 it, and like that's fine. Like I have no problem. In general, like this might sound weird, but like there's a lot of people I know out there that like really get bothered a lot by like 
you know, getting harassed or like people getting mad at them on the internet. And so like, I don't really have a problem tanking hate for people, but like, it wasn't my idea to go on an RP server and I actually didn't want to. Like, I, I actually didn't want to go on, on an RP server, uh, but everybody blamed me. Tanking the hate? Well, it's true though, right? You're the good guy here? Well, I don't think I really ruined the server. I think the people that said that, like, streamers ruined the server, it's just, like, classic, classic WoW streamer hate, like, you know, boomers that are like, well, back in my day, why would you watch a person play a video game? Why would you want to watch somebody play a video game if you could just go play the game yourself? Like, that's really what it was. And it, it's not like it was something that was legitimate at all. If anything, gatekeeping fuckers ruined Sod. Um, I don't know if gatekeeping really ruined it, but yeah. People over 50s complain about video games, all as much ways. People under 15s opinions on politics, yeah. Yeah, who gives a shit? There are typical Sod enjoyers, blissfully unaware of your existence, then it wouldn't have ruined the servers. Well, I think that most people, most people probably don't even know. Like, there's people that, like, I think that people know, like, oh, yeah, that's, like, a streamer or something like that. But I don't think that it really affects, like, the server that much. Unless, like, you're doing annoying stuff every day. Like, it, it's really not going to play any sort of, like, real role in, like, the way that somebody's going to enjoy or play the game. That armor is pretty good. What weapon am I using? Just the sword from BFD. And whenever I get a better weapon, like I have Ravager now, and so I'm gonna use Ravager after I uh, level up. Did checking logs for BFD while in the 40s? Yeah. I think that Blizzard should try a, uh, they should try a phase of Season of Discovery with combat logging disabled. So you can't log things and just see how it will affect the community. Yeah, just see what happens. Because, like, if you're, if you're going to do it with GDKP, then, like, in my opinion, I think logging is infinitely more corrosive than GDKP. Facts. Yeah, no, I mean like, Infidels. yeah, like parsing and stuff they like that. GDKP was ban was a success though. What do you guys think? Was GDKP a, a was banning GDKP a success? You think so? It stops bots. Not at all. We won't know until molten core. You shall pay for this treachery. Yeah, I don't know. Because I'm actually curious. Like, I, I really don't know. It made 1% stop making alts for raids? Yeah, because, like, I was worried that, like, if they do that, then it will just make people not do... not use alts. And not play as much. Because, like, for me, like, the reason why I like GDKP is that it gave me a reason to play the game beyond, uh... What do you call it? Beyond just like clearing it the first time. All right, let's get those fucking gloves. Please, bro, give me the fucking gloves. Got him. Oh, we got him. Guys, I gotta take a break. I gotta get food. 
I gotta get food, chill out. I'll probably do more runs of this later on tonight, and then by tomorrow I'll be 40 and we'll do Nomergon. We'll do Nomergon, we'll get geared, we'll uh, get ready for the next phase, because the next phase comes out not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow. So, uh, real quick. One Nomergon? Yep, we do one Nomergon. I'll figure out the raid. I mean, the odds are I'll probably invite people that already know what to do, so it won't be that hard. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Nice, I got the gloves, didn't I? Yeah, I just heard the sound. Fuck yeah, Jibu is trying to take him again. Son of a bitch. Once human tomorrow is two. Yeah, I might look and, and log into that again. Uh, I might have to... If I can get, like, invites again, I might do that. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and log for a bit. Alright. RMT equals inflation. You're delusional if you think otherwise. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. I just don't think that the way to combat RMT is to punish the whole player base and make a certain type of emergent gameplay against the rules. I, I just, I feel like that's not fair. Like, it, it's not fair to, like, an average player that, like, now their experience in the game is worse because Blizzard doesn't want to invest in the customer service. But anyway, gentlemen, we had a good stream today. We had a lot of fun. Hope you guys had fun. I'll be back on tomorrow, and uh, we'll do some more actual, like, real WoW stuff rather than just, like, spamming Scarlet Monastery, which I'll be very excited for. All right, boys. Peace. See ya.